In 2002, the park discovered a new non-native pest that invaded the hemlock forests of the, of the park. It's called the hemlock woolly adelgid. It's basically a little fuzzy white uh, aphid that looks like a Q-tip. And it attaches itself to the needles of these three, four, five hundred year old old growth hemlocks, sucks the sap, you know, those sugars from that tree, and that stress over just three to five years can actually defoliate and eventually kill these trees. And we're looking at 99.9% .9 mortality or ecological extinction. So that's what we're really trying to confront here in the park. The hemlock trees do not have natural resistance to it and there are no specialist natural enemies. So it's been able to sort of like run wild and uh, uh, kill the trees uh, in, without uh, being kept in check by any biological factors. Fortunately, there are some remedies that we were able to put into play really from the very beginning. Uh, the simplest method is actually spraying the tree with a soapy solution using fire hose equipment. You basically wash the whole tree. That works, but you have to do it twice a year, so it's not something you can do on a landscape-wide basis. There's also a systemic pesticide, which we drench into the soil or actually inject into the bark, which provides three to five years of protection for that tree, but of course, again, has to be, it has to be repeated. And it's labor-intensive. You know, we are actually treating 103,000 trees over a 1,400-acre area, but the park has about 75,000 acres of hemlock. So, you know, our, 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 our interest is in saving those pockets of hemlock until a, until a natural or a biological control can be imposed. And to do that, we're actually releasing two non-native species of beetles that came from the same place that Delgid did and eat only Adelgids. We're raising beetles right now. They're predators of the hemlock woolly Adelgid. These predators are actually ladybug beetles, but very small ones. Uh, related to the ones that, say, you find in your garden feeding on aphids. And our hope is that over a matter of years or maybe decades, the population of those beetles will rise to the point where they'll have a balancing effect on the hemlock, hemlock adelgid. If we hadn't done anything, we'd see 99.9% .9 mortality. And now I'm sure there'll be tens of thousands of hemlocks in this park for people to come look at years from now.